Greetings. So this is going to be the weekly general energy reading for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you have Pisces in your Venus sign, this may also, or the love portion of the reading may also resonate for you. But please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not apply to you in your situation. If you are interested in me tapping into your own personal energy, all the energy or all the information that you will need will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much to my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment. If you wish, I'd love to hear from you all. If you are interested in daily pick card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at BreezeSpirit.Insights. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you'd wish. I'd love to hear from you all. Also, I will be pulling a direct angel answer for the collective. So if you have a more direct question in regards to love, please keep it in mind and hopefully it provides you with the clarity that you need. Sorry about that. Baby woke up. So let's see. We're going to tap into general energy and then move into love. I'm going to lay out all of the energy first. This is from the 21st to the 3rd, or the 24th to the 31st. Okay, so we have the Sun card in reverse and the Four of Wands. The Star card in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. And the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Emperor for your general energy. So I feel like you're unhappy with something. I feel like you um, are wanting more happier energy surrounding you, surrounding uh, surrounding um, your more intimate spaces like your home or um, intimate relationships like family, friends, or loved ones. Um, and I feel like... The fact that you are not feeling in alignment with certain things or things aren't working out the way that you want with certain situations that you're dealing with. Um, it's trying to tell you that this is um, something that can't bring um, longevity to what you're trying to bring in for you. I feel like the people and the situations um, that, that you are unhappy with right now are the things that are holding you back from... Um, feeling more secure and feeling more happy and feeling more um, satisfied with what's going on around you. So I feel like a lot of these people need to be cut out. Um, I feel like you have to kind of um, suppress your emotions or just don't think with your emotional body in regards to these situations. I feel like you need to stay headstrong and focus come up with what it is that um, you are wanting to do and where you are wanting to go and don't let anything or anyone interfere with that. Um, there's going to be a need for you needing to um, not move so much on your emotions and your feelings, but more so off of what you know you want to do and where and what you want to be in alignment with is what I'm getting. So for your love and it will never mind. I have to pull your general. 
advice for what I just read. Let's see, what is the general advice for Pisces? You can thank you. Advice for the Pisces. We got originality. It says blaze your own trail. Okay, so for the love energy for this person over here, we have the temperance and the seven of pentacles in the reversed. And we have the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. Wow. So you could be this person or this person. Take it however it resonates for you. If it doesn't resonate, don't force it. It just maybe wasn't meant for you. Um, I feel like this person here is quite patient. I feel like this person is like, look, I'm giving this time. Um, I'm not really moving too much. They're, this person is in a very slow moving energy and they're giving um, very little to the situation based off of um, how they're moving within the situation. So, yeah. Holy fire. Why is the temperance card here? We got the ten of wands in reversed. I feel like this person doesn't want to put too much on their plate or they don't want to get to a place within the situation that they get overwhelmed with all of what is going on. I feel like this person just wants to take it slow. I feel like this person doesn't want the pressure of... Um, like what's being done or what energy is being put into the situation, having to account for something or meaning that something is, you know, being something that it's not is what I'm getting. I hope that makes sense. Um, why is the seven of pentacles in reverse? We got the judgment card. So I feel like this person is in the energy of reflecting, just keeping tabs on the situation, um, being very observant and paying very much attention to what's going on in the situation. And that's why I feel like this person wants to take things slowly so that they don't allow certain things, certain emotions, certain situations block their judgment um, from what they want to do in the situation is what I'm getting. So this person over here, we have... The King of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reversed, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. So, let's see, let me get some more clarity. And I feel like this person is kind of being distant. Um, what is the Seven of Swords about, though? We got the Nine of Wands. Why is the seven of swords in reversed? I feel like this person may be hiding something or this person um, did something that was deceptive. And that's why this person could be just kind of moving slowly over here and paying attention to what's going on. Because maybe this person in the past had deceptive energy or um, did something that was kind of sus. We got the three of pentacles in reversed. So maybe they did something that kind of broke this connection or did something to damage or affect this um, connection. Or are you two working together? Here, Mama, sit up. Sit down. Why you don't want to sit down? Here, sit down. Here, let me show you something. Look. Here you go. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is on the defense. Um, or it could be a thing where this person over here did something that was deceptive. And so this person is kind of defending their energy and they're kind of distant based off of that. Um, it could be a thing like that as well. I feel like this person's intentions is to gain clarity um, or their desires. I feel like 
The desires may also be to communicate and kind of stay in their ground, stay in their position. Um, give me more clarity on the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Pisces like yourself. Um, could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra or another fire sign. We got Aries as well. We got Aquarius. We got Leo. So yeah, any of those things. Now, why do you keep doing that? Okay, what was that? Okay, so why is the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands here? Too many bingo cards. I got the five of wands. So I feel like this person is mad about whatever deceptive energy was between or what happened between you two. And I feel like this person desires to stand up for themselves and kind of stand up for what they're thinking. I think this person is kind of distant and um, is defensive in their energy, but I feel like they do want to communicate to clear the air about some things to gain, to gain, to gain clarity and to also kind of stand their ground because they may have felt like they didn't stand up for themselves after whatever situation happened, something like that. And the connection, we have the hangman and the king of cups in reverse. So I feel like you both are kind of just going with the flow, not really moving um, too, too much. Maybe trying to figure out how to move, but not really moving within the situation. The outcome, we have the hierophant and the king, or some, I'm sorry, the queen of pentacles in reverse. So let's clarify the outcome. So why is the hierophant here with the king or the queen of pentacles? We have the queen of cups. Give me more clarity. Why is the higher fit here? What is the higher fit saying? Why is the higher fit here? What? What? We got the moon card. So honestly, I still am feeling some deceptive energy here present with this person. Um, and I feel like there may be some sort of recommitment based off of a lie or a secret or you kind of getting there or wanting to get there. Let me clarify some more. Why is the higher friend here with the moon card? Um, but I feel like it's based off of emotional impulse, but I feel like... There's an instability in this situation. And then we got the two of pentacles clarifying the moon card. So it's like this person is still juggling someone else or just juggling um, the same deceptive kind of energy that they had previously, I feel. Um, we got the six of pentacles. But I feel like you both are going to be giving to the situation, giving to each other in some sort of way. Um, based off of maybe whatever this conference is or gaining clarity but I feel like the clarity that's wanting to be given is not really going to be given um so there's going to be a feeling of still feeling unstable within the situation but still kind of going through with it is what I'm getting what is the advice for the Taurus and more I'm sorry I don't like that card Okay, we got sensuality. It says express your sensuality. So I feel like there's a big thing for needing to express yourself and also um, being able to pick up on how you feel. Like don't react on how you feel. Don't impossibly move on how you feel, but do register and take note on how you feel in certain situations being around this person, um, just the energy around this person because I feel like there's some deceptive energy here. So let's see what your direct angel answer is. 
What is the direct interest oh. for the Pisces? Oh. What? Direct interest card for the Pisces. We got let go. So I hope that this reading resonated for you. I hope the answer gave you the clarity that you needed. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, all the information that you will need will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. And I'll see you all next time.